Hey y'all, welcome to the Tipsy Candle. So today we are pouring our candles, our soy wax candles into the cement um, jars that I made. As you can see, I'm starting with four of my cement jars and I'm using wooden wicks and they are the half inch sizes. I use the Candle Science Pro Wick stickers for these as I find they really work really good. I really don't have too much slippage with them. Um, if I do notice one slipping, it's usually at the very end of the candle when it's ready to be extinguished. You can kind of see that in the lighting, there is like a small indentation. That's where I put my perfectly centered wick. Okay, well it's not always perfectly centered, but those are my candles that I get to burn at home. Now that all of my jars are wonderfully wicked using these wooden wicks by makesee.com it is time to measure out the fragrance oil we here at the tipsy candle love a good smelling candle it's all about the fragrance load so we are using the max 10 percent fragrance load so in this case i'm making 32 ounces of wax and i will need three ounces of fragrance oil to 908 grams of wax. Okay, here we go. It's time to pour. Make sure that when you are pouring your fragrance oil into your soy wax um, that you are stirring for a good solid two minutes. Anything less really doesn't have a good solid chance to bind together the oils and the wax. So I make sure to stir for two minutes. After you've stirred, I allow it to sit for at least 10 minutes. Finally, it's my favorite time. It's time to pour. I let my wax, wax mixture cool down to at least 129 degrees Fahrenheit before I actually pour the wax into the handmade vessel. Wooden wicks actually really love wax. So don't mind me as I am pouring my hot wax over the wooden wicks and into the vessels. It's just something that I do. Maybe it's a little too OCD, but anyway, it works for me. I also wanted to add that I always have an extra four ounce jar standing by just in case because i know that i always have a couple of ounces left over from my candles so i always like to give gifts and it makes a perfect little gift
This just helps getting any air bubbles out. After I'm done clanking the sides gently with something metal to knock out those air bubbles, I allow it to sit for 24 hours before I go and look at my candles. And after that, if they're perfect, then there's no need to use a heat gun. But don't worry, soy wax is kind of finicky, so you always have to use a heat gun. And then I let them cure for 14 days. Thanks guys for watching.